Bob here. So uh, I'm just uh, playing along at home with the Tizen uh, Content API. So I'm just going to show you what I've got here. Uh, Tizen 2.4 beta uh, installed. Um, so the IDE here is what I've started up. So I've got the IDE running here and then I've created the uh, media content from that example project as per the video. Um, just looking at that config line, I get a, if I'm missing one of the uh, privileges versus what was there, but apart from that, they're much the same. Um, I have created uh, an emulator. So if I just flip over here to the emulator manager, what you get here is you just this do this uh, sort of create new and I've I've done a uh, uh, a 720p uh, one gigabyte kind of uh, kind of fake uh, C3 there uh, and that's instantiated over here and uh, what I've done see the app running now. Oop, wrong one. Wrong one. But yeah, basically got the emulator running there. Um, oh, there's the app. So I'd, uh, I'd started that up from within the IDE. Just flip back to it over here. Uh, let's do the run. So launching media content. There we go. So um, these are the filters, so nothing on the external, the internal showing the different folders and so on. Um, so yeah, I mean this is a this is a web app. Uh, you've obviously got both native and web apps that you can create. Um, and then you know this default folder layout. You have the icon, um, you've got the index.html that's just the, the root web page. Um, you've got some JavaScript in the JS folder, and um, the lib is the um, tail building block. Um, so there we go. Um, just wanted to quickly just show you the application uh, running as described in that tutorial there that's talking through. The APIs for accessing content.